بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از رستم اینڈ دس لیکچر از بینگ ریکارڈیڈ فار بی اے اسٹوڈنٹس ان سیون سمیسٹر بی اے اسٹوڈنٹس ہیو ٹو ڈو ریسرچ آئی مین دے اسٹڈی ریسرچ میتھڈالوجی ریسرچ میتھڈس وچ از اے تھری کریڈٹ آورس کورس اینڈ ان ایٹ سمیسٹر پرٹیکولرلی آئی ایم ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اسٹوڈنٹس اسٹڈینگ لنگوسٹکس آر لٹریچر اینڈ وین دے آپٹ ریسرچ so in today's video i'm gonna discuss certain a few topics re, uh, related to bs research particularly linguistics research as you can see here so uh, <clears throat> there there can be many topics uh, related to bs research because at bs level uh, a very you know challenging type of research is not demanded from uh, students so they just uh, have to write uh, a brief report about a problem that exists in in the area of ELT Indian language teaching so uh, few topics uh, I'm, I'm just uh, which which have just occurred to me and I have just penned them down I'm gonna discuss and uh, later on I'll explain them one by one now first topic can be that BS students uh, who are studying linguistics so they can compare two teaching methods okay uh, i have given an example that uh, in order to teach poetry okay so there are two uh, uh, approaches one is literary criticism approach uh, the approach which is uh, you know there in our uh, uh, academia particularly uh, we we teach students uh, you know different literary text using this approach <coughs> and then there is emerging uh, emerging approach known as stylistic approach so these are two, uh, these these two methods can be you know evaluated uh, in bs research uh, 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 when i am going to record a separate uh, lecture i will talk about these two methods so another method can be uh, comparison of methods can be pedagogical grammar method and com communicative approach <laughs> we teach language skills we teach different uh, you know uh, concepts related to grammar so one approach is pedagogical uh, grammar which has been derived from latin grammar okay in which rules are you know uh, told to students okay and uh, it is a kind of deductive approach rules are explained first and then uh, you know practice students are made uh, to do practice uh, pedagogic grammar and uh, the another one is a communicative approach which has been you know derived from socio linguistic uh, structure of language okay uh, uh, communicative competence so these two methods can be discussed there can be many tools uh, you know which can be employed like uh, a questionnaire can be designed and circulated among english language teachers and their attitude towards these two approaches can be measured like whether they prefer pedagogical approach or whether they prefer communicative approach and definitely uh, designing a questionnaire is uh, another art and technique so i'll explain these uh, two methods uh, later on so this can be one area for bs students who are studying in seventh semester if they want to make up their mind regarding a uh, such topic then they can go for these i'll explain them okay now uh, another uh, uh, umbrella term can be uh, writing skill so re related to writing many projects can be designed <laughs> like uh, uh, we can like we can uh, for example uh, teach uh, descriptive writing like whether we want to know whether our students uh, can describe uh, you know objects or you know scenes our personalities okay so uh, this can be you know uh, measured and uh, population can be very like uh, high school students can be participant in this study college student ba students can be participant okay so <clears throat> even recite design can be very get uh, very uh, uh, you know varied i mean it can be uh, uh, you know uh, experiment like uh, you can go and uh, you can first give a pre test to some students okay i'll explain uh, soon but uh, you can uh, select uh, 10 to 5 5 to 10 students and give them a, a description of a picture okay and this is a pre test then uh, evaluate it using a grading rubric and find out uh, students strengths and weaknesses and then uh, give them a intervention or treatment of let's say one month two weeks one week teach them 
descriptive writing skills okay uh, uh, a subjective description and objective description all can be introduced and then again give them post test this type of test uh, experiment is known as you know one group pre post test experiment or a quasi experiment you can say so this can be one area second area can be that uh, uh, related to writing uh, i'll talk about it later on like error analysis can be there okay so there are many topics uh, research areas related to writing okay let me uh, talk about another subject reinforcement strat tra strategies in eld classrooms <laughs> So, like uh, reinforcement strategies are strategies uh, like uh, uh, it's uh, you know behavioristic theory that uh, learners uh, strengthen their uh, previous behavior when they are uh, reinforced. I mean, they are given rewards for their production. So, if some student has have done, uh, have written, if some some student has written a very good piece of essay, and if you uh, make a comment, uh, well done, good, keep it up. Or you give a cash reward, etc. Or you say shabash, wonderful, etc. So th the student is encouraged, and he or she will produce another, you know, uh, test. So uh, I'll explain uh, that uh, if you can go to different classrooms, English language teaching classrooms, and you can observe classrooms. Observation sheet can be with you, and you can, uh, you know, find out. Uh, the environment media in which uh, teacher is using all these strategies and you can compare this uh, atmosphere with the, uh, the with the classrooms uh, where it is not being implemented so both the classes can be compared and you can uh, you know uh, uh, produce uh, uh, comparison results or you can uh, take up data uh, from uh, fr from both these classes and this data can be compared in in terms of achievement of students okay uh, then uh, you know there can be many hypotheses you can uh, uh, formulate an hypothesis that students who are given uh, reinforcement strategies and uh, they perform better on english achievement than those who are not given these strategies or you can uh, ask students, you can conduct a survey in the classrooms, different classrooms, and you can ask students which type of classroom they like most. The class in which teacher uh, is cooperative uh, and the atmosphere is conducive and the uh, teacher encourages them. And whatever type of work they do, they are always encouraged. They are never insulted. They are never chided and rebuked, etc., etc. Et so students' uh, attitude towards a classroom where uh, e -info, uh, e -a, this um, reinforcement strategies are being implemented can be measured. Okay, then we can go to let's say uh, res, uh, reasons of code switching. So code switching, why uh, teachers uh, code switch? Like uh, if a teacher is uh, bilingual and class is also bilingual and uh, both teacher and the taught share the same language. Let's say. Uh, in Pakistani classrooms, particularly in, in Azara Divi and we speak Urdu as well as English. So uh, while teaching, uh, while talking to our students in English, uh, certainly we switch over to Urdu. So what could be the possible reasons why we, uh, why we switch over the code? So these reasons can be measured or can be investigated. So a questionnaire can be designed. Uh, our interviews can be conducted so there can be many uh, there can be a variety of research tools employed in this research i am going to record a separate video about uh, this topic so this can be one of the topic then code mixing in pakistani english novels okay so pakistani uh, maybe uh, they are not living in pakistan but they are pakistani born or asian born like uh, uh, Maslam, uh, kamla shamsi <coughs> bepsi sidwa Muhammad Anif, Ani Muhammad. So they are, you know, uh, Muriza Shamsi, they are writing in English and their uh, fiction is available in English. But if you read through this fiction, uh, you will come across many instances of code mixing. Sometimes Punjabi uh, sentences are mixed, sometimes uh, Urdu words are mixed So in the novels. So you can, uh, you know, uh, do content analysis of uh, selected novels and you can bring out those uh, instances and uh, now uh, data analysis can be uh, you know quantitative as well as qualitative it is up to you because sometimes uh, you turn the data same data into qualitative uh, and sometimes you analyze it uh, in terms of quantitative uh, 
data so this can be one topic now moving on to another uh, you know uh, topic code mixing in pakistani novels and now this code mixing can be uh, इन्वेस्टिगेटेड इन पाकिस्तानी टी वी टाक शोज इन पाकिस्तानी चिल्ड्रन मैगजीन्स इंडियन सॉन्ग्स और पाकिस्तानी उर्दू सॉन्ग्स ओके साइन बोर्ड कोड मिक्सिंग एंड साइन बोर्ड्स इन यू नो आर सिटीज एट्सट्रा सो आल दिस कैन बी मेजर्ड इन्वेस्टिगेटेड स्पीच एरर एनालिसिस आर राइटिंग एरर एनालिसिस एरर एनालिसिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो वे सो देर आर मैनी थेरीज अबाउट एरर्स वाई स्टूडेंट्स मेक एरर्स pit coder and mentalism uh, mentalist theory so they all say that uh, some uh, one school of thought thinks that uh, errors are you know indication indicators that learning is taking place but another school of thought that behavioristic view says that whenever there is an error it has to be corrected otherwise uh, a habit uh, will be formed in order to set good habits whenever student make an error corrected uh, on the spot uh, on the spot uh, so now uh, 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 teachers attitude towards errors can be evaluated and measured through a questionnaire or you can give a written assignment to students like uh, an essay or uh, you can uh, you know uh, vary your population uh, uh, one uh, you can give an essay to high school students bs students okay now you can uh, find out errors mechanical errors rhetorical errors okay lexical errors and then uh, you know grammatical or syntactical errors so you can uh, turn this study into a quantitative study like a lot of errors or data in in the form of numbers can be generated same goes to speech errors you can give uh, uh, you can select uh, let's say 5 uh, students or 10 students you can give them a topic for 30 minutes okay uh, uh, you can pin up uh, names are uh, some uh, uh, identifying numbers on the back or on the front side of the students and let them speak on a topic for about 30 to 40 minutes and you can uh, hold a smartphone camera and record this conversation now you can uh, evaluate uh, speech proficiency of these students and what type of errors are being committed like Uh, whether uh, cooperative principle is being uh, you know violated like uh, you might have heard uh, about uh, paul paul grais uh, cooperative principle like uh, maxim of uh, you know relevance maxim of quantity maxim of quality and maxim of manner maxim of manner so now turn taking uh, speech uh, usually follows uh, a speaking model that is del hum speaking model so all the then uh, uh, lexical accuracy uh, you know syntactical accuracy during the speech stress placement uh, on individual words and uh, norms of connected speech assimilation elision etc and then uh, uh, pronunciation errors all this can be pointed out uh, in the speech uh the report you are going to write that is a thesis or a dissertation or a research report a research project report that can point out uh, areas that students are in the habit of making this and that error and uh, this is the recommendation and this is the solution etc then a uh, 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 one full fledged research can be conducted on pronunciation errors like uh, in pronunciation we have you know our students usually mix uh, diphthongal sounds with uh, uh, single sounds like uh, you you might uh, have heard some student pronouncing this word tiny and tiny now actual pronunciation is tiny but our students uh, it's a diphthong but they pronounce it as tiny that is a short vowel sound same is the case uh, that we introduce urdu norms of speech in into our pronunciation like urdu is a Uh, syllable time language while uh, english is a stress time language so in english we have to you know uh, introduce stress patterns like we must say agree but in urdu we don't uh, have this stress timing we pronounce all the syllables with the same force like we never say uh, shabash or we never say shabash we rather say shabash it means uh, both the syllables like sha and bash in urdu receive same stress stress force but in english uh, either first syllable will be uh, longer or the second syllable will be longer like say an english person will either will, uh, will say it shabash or shabash like this so whenever we are pronouncing english words 
we are introducing urdu nouns of speech over this so a very full fledged research can be conducted on pronunciation errors uh, uh, of pakistani uh, you know uh, learners uh, in a, in a separate video i'll uh, talk about its uh, design sampling techniques and you know data collection tool etc okay and then we can uh, have effect of teaching uh, scanning uh, with authentic materials on students reading comprehension let's say authentic materials are those material which are not you know designed for teaching purposes like uh, newspaper cuttings uh, newspaper adv advertisement okay so uh, a bbc video uh, a news bulletin item so if you use this uh, to teach uh, listening and speaking or to teach reading and writing and uh, again you can uh, so what is the effect on students achievement so uh, if a class that is start with uh, just uh, you know without any uh, avas or with, uh, without any authentic materials what is uh, its response in comparison with a class who uh, that that has been taught using authentic materials it's very important area of research authentic materials then we can go for a uh, setting up head parameter uh, by a bilingual learner a case study of in co are uh, in co prepositional and verb phrases like if a child uh, who is born in a hindko speaking family and uh, he or she he or she receives uh, input not only in hindko but also in you know let's say urdu or english even so if a child is made to learn three languages okay uh, at the same time so i, I mean uh, multilingualism uh, right from the beginning so how a uh, head parameter uh, will be set up in the lad language acquisition by divide inside because uh, languages have this uh, universal principle that of head like uh, in every language we have five types of phrases okay verb phrase uh, you know in uh, prepositional phrase uh, you know noun phrase adjectival phrase and adverbial phrase these phrases uh, you know according to uh, uh, mentalism theory they every uh, every child is born with uh, this basic mechanism uh, basic structure okay kernel clauses okay kernel clauses so but uh, and every phrase has got a head okay let's say if we have a, a preposition phrase so we we always have a head in the preposition phrase in the uh, let's say in the corner so in will act as a head in urdu in english uh, prep, in a preposition phrase uh, the head comes first but in urdu it comes last like when you say in the corner see in comes first but when you say kone mein kone mein so here you say uh, you can see that may comes after so urdu is a head lost language uh, in in as far as uh, preposition phrase is concerned but english is head first language as far as uh, its uh, uh, prepositional head is concerned so if a child is learning both the language simultaneously simultaneously so head parameter will be set up uh, according to which language mother tongue or second language so this is very interesting area and if a child if you if you are lucky to have a um, growing child in your family so you can uh, conduct a longitudinal uh, longitudinal study uh, let's say over a period of 6 uh, months or 1 year and you can note down the phrases being uh, uttered by such as uh, such a child and you can point out all this okay later on i'll explain it and let's move on to uh, next page so here are few more uh, uh, topics like uh, analysis of a speech event uh, using delheim speaking model speech event uh, speech event is actually uh, speech event uh, you know is uh, made up from a series of speech acts and speech acts uh, you know are made up from utterances so if we are having uh, you know speech events you can say speech event is a discourse it can be a spoken discourse and it can be a written discourse but when we say analysis of a speech event it mean that we are uh, analyzing uh, uh, speech patterns 